Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to New Year's Day. It's January 1, 2021. As you notice, everything's moved. <gasps> What's missing there? Ryan wants to take this old pot <laughs> parts washer. I don't even know if the thing runs. It was gifted to me by a guy that was... Um, we have this happen a lot. People are going, I'm never going to be a mechanic again. And they always end up doing it again. But anyway, I said it's rough. I don't even know if it runs. I'll take it. We're missing something in here. Where is it at? Oh, look at that. It's a patch of blue sky. I have a small window that I can get a ride in. And that's what we're going to take. So I got that out of the way so that... Sweeping white balances here. So I had to move, take the DR off the sand, throw it off to the side so I could get the BMW out of the way because right there underneath that window is where the parts washer was sitting. That may be Ryan right there. Seeing the dogs are barking, that's probably him. Yep, he's in his Ford, I can tell by the sound of it. There he is. Oh, it was a nice little family visit there. There goes my old... My old tank that I never used. Yeah, Ryan put it to good use. Right, Danners? What do you think, Danny Rock. Magoo? <laughs> <laughs> so I had a window until 1 o'clock to get a ride in before the percentage of rain starts quickly increasing. Looking at radar, and now that it is 1 o'clock, there's not much chance of this not ended up being a, uh, a wet ride but I'm just gonna do like one of my neighborhood loop type things what do you think of that at least I can say I got a ride in on January 1st <laughs> all the dogs out there with the mama all right let's go see how well this works out yeah I didn't make it very far down the road and uh, yeah she's raining <laughs> And it's windy, and that feels absolutely phenomenal. Wow. That radar said it was right on top of me. I didn't realize it was this close to being on top of me. Wow, I put that thing in rain mode. Wow, does that make them gutless? I can't believe the lack of performance. That's like an extreme eco mode. <laughs> I guess tomorrow is supposed to be the, the big part of the storm. Have, it's supposed to have sustained 35 and 45 mile an hour winds. So, uh, you know, I should probably make sure I've got some gas because uh, I think, it, oh, do you see that? There was oil on the road. You could see it, how it mixes with the, with the wetness. That, talking about mellowing you out. Oh, I can smell it too. I smell diesel. Ooh, yeah, that's really dangerous. I don't see any. Ooh, I just felt it nudge too. Doesn't look like anything's on the road, but I, I just felt the traction control go. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, that's just activating ABS like right away. Optimistic for 2021? I am. Oh, look, there's a motorcycle sitting up in that field way over there. Is that? That's not a 650 Seika Yamaha, is it? What? That's a Seika Turbo sitting out there in that field. I think it's a little front. Oh, it is. I, I used to live at Silver Lake. Um, I, I lived with a co-worker for a couple of months when I moved out and then uh, I moved into my parents had a it was like a 1940 something 
single wide mobile home that was it had been there so long the woods had basically like covered it up it was just a driveway it was really cool but uh it was on the land they bought and they fixed it up and and uh would go up there vacationing you know like in the summertime they go up there and spend a couple weeks fishing and hanging out but anyway i lived in that thing for i forget how long it was until kelly and i when she turned 18 she she moved out and then her and i got an apartment together there in longview but anyway i uh i took one of those sega turbos home and i made it from my house to the store and i want to say it was like 17 minutes and i forget what the mileage was and it was back roads it was the highway going down spirit lake highway for a while then i cut and came down highlander and um yeah i was never able to achieve that time again but I never went so fast on the street in my entire life. I mean, I was moving. I had that thing in full boost and the service manager had tweaked this, the wastegate or something on it. Man, it hit really hard. It was building a little, a little extra boost. Fastest I'd ever made it from my house to work. That was crazy. It just gives me heebie-jeebies even thinking about that because, I mean, I was stupid flying. And in rain mode, do you guys know that the different mapping modes also has an effect on the suspension as well? It affects everything. They, it's amazing that BMW can sort all that stuff out. Yeah, that's a little unnerving. Look at the cracks in the ground. That thing's moving. Yeah, I won't stand there. I, I know you guys can't tell, but there's a drop-off right there. You can see that... Oh, that feels soft. You can see the top of a fir tree growing right there that's up against the bank. It's a drop-off. My trees are all growing up and I can't see over the edge very well anymore. Wow, oh, that feels eerie soft. We'll just stay right here. There, there's the view. I can see rain all in them back hills over there. That's back over that way is where the Toledo Airport is. If I was at the airport over there, it'd be raining. It's not doing absolutely anything where I'm at right now. Oh, I love that sound of the wind going through the helmet. You guys remember these were just little short guys. No wonder these things are so popular for lumber. They grow so fast. I love the stainless exhaust. I don't know why they put them chrome ones on there. The chromes just don't look good. I love that beautiful gold color these things turn. Has that race bike look to it. And plus, you know, the first few hundred miles when then things are bedding not bedding in but seasoning in or whatever now look at that looking over that hill it's raining all the way across there all right oh look at that my seat's all wet too all right let's continue on the new year's day ride in the rain what you think there, old Beamheimer? Oh, almost stalled it. Ooh, look at the moss on the road here. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's crazy how thick it can get. It's really crazy how slippery it can be. Yeah, this one would be really bad because it's kind of not being disturbed and allowed to just grow wildly. It's crazy that this road shot across and went where I was parked. Whoops. Went where I was parked and turned out down that way. I think I've walked you guys out there. It's just a cliff. 
and you could for a while you could say so you can see the lines there you could see the lines but the moss is kind of taken over but that road went all the way across that dirt road that went down wasn't there if it was it went down in a different way you wouldn't think they'd come through and redo roads out here in such a a rural area but they do you would be able to see Mount Rainier I was like, oh I can see the face of it and don't squint your eyes because you're not going to see it from here but oh, that looks cool looking down in that when the leaves are all gone you can see the that lower farmland down there there's the cowlitz down there if you guys can make that out that's where we flew right down through all that that area and that biplane if you go back quite a few years on the other channel that was so fun oh, that's cool to stand up and you feel the wind kind of tugging on your body and stuff so nice hiding out back there somewhere old beamer says i'm pretty special i got chose to take the the new year's day ride oh there's three of them i've only seen two. Oh, look at that ah, hi there buddies Oh, they're oh, look at them. That's awesome. get down here is a nice bright spot in the sky lights everything up oh I mean that storm she is a coming now look at that radar and she's sliding in boy coming right at us straight off the coast you look out over the coast there over Long Beach down even into Astoria and stuff it is just yellow and red Kelly says, you better go and you better make it fast. I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> feel like I lost the cylinder. That rain mode is something else, boy. Let's, uh, let's just get away with that. There we are. Dynamic Pro. Oh yeah, even the exhaust note changes. Oh yeah, hold on there, gal. She likes that. Woo! I love this wind. That's that's pretty strong. Gotta be nice that tomorrow during the windstorm if there's a break in the weather. Get that DR finished up. We'll take that thing for a rip get tossed around out in the rain that'd be nice all right well, i'll make this a quick one and i'm starting to smell that diesel again so all right we'll talk at you later on how about that made it home it's not raining yet the bike is actually dry because that last little part it wasn't in the rain just got little sprinkles on it and old danny he always comes out here and sits by the bikes when I come home, waiting for me to put him away. He's a good boy. What a trooper, this old bike. Look at that, I think even some blue skies might even pop out of that. But unfortunately, that's a coming. 
What do you think, Danny? Look at the room that gained by being able to push that BM to Nesnar all the way back. That's pretty cool, huh? So Cal and I were, you know, looking at rearranging stuff in a way. One, I'd like to get the workout machine and the and the bicycle trainer thing out and start working with them things too. In preparation, let's make a 2021 a, a healthier year. But I mean, there's a lot of things we can, you know, clean up. Like that just become a junk collection as those things do. It's a guy's shop, you know, that's how they work, work out or <clears throat> end up anyway. But anyway, make room and because so uh, we need room for an additional motorcycle. And it's really nice when you can have an additional bike that you don't have to move other bikes to get one out. That's always nice. All right, so I got her back out here. First order of business that we were talking about yesterday is getting all them little pieces of silicone out of here. Even Ryan was looking at this thing going, dang, Pops, you're lucky you didn't burn that thing down. Said, yeah, you ain't kidding there. Let's get all that cleaned up. And uh, gotta clean out the uh, the rocker cover. Head cover, oh, probably don't want a glass phone screen sitting there underneath it. Well, we get these two things cleaned up and uh, get her back together and tore it down. And I need to look around. I know I have spark plugs around here somewhere. See if I've got the right ones to uh, to replace those. I'd like to put the uh, engine K's in there if I have them. I don't have a, a large selection of stuff like that here, so the odds that I have them are probably pretty slim. I don't think I've ever serviced that air filter. You know what's scary about that? Is it almost looks like it's the oil they come with. You're supposed to pull those things out and lube them. Holy crap. Well, luckily, I... uh I'm a huge fan of Notoil air filter stuff. It goes back to the KTM days. So I have the cleaner, the oil, and the rim grease. So we need to add that to it. Highly, highly waterproof. And because you mix the, the powder stuff with water, people automatically assume that, um, that it'll break down if you ride in the, <laughs> if you ride in the rain. Actually, it's the most waterproof air filter oil ever. It's amazing how well it works. The only time it breaks down with water is when you put the little, looks like laundry soap powder in some warm water and wash it out. So we need to do that as well. So whoever PDI'd this bike, and this came from our Longview store years ago, did not service that filter. But oddly enough, they actually use the no toil rim grease on it. But you can see nothing, nothing made it through. And I can look down inside here and nothing, nothing has made it through the air box. But one of the telltale signs that it's the way it came from the factory is the fact there's a pool of 8098 oil laying down in the bottom. That's the way these things come from the factory is that way. And part of your PDI setup is to take Take that filter out and oil it. Um, they don't say you have to clean the 8090 weight out of it. Just pull it out of its cage. And they don't want you using spray oil. They want you, you know, pouring some in a bag or however you do it. Use the liquid oil. Don't use spray oil on your filters. The only time you use spray oil is like on a K&N or something. Which one of those will never be in any of my motorcycles. But anyway... So that definitely needs a proper service, and I need to get that oil out of the bottom of the air box. It should actually be, yeah, there's a drain right there for it. So I'll sop up what I can inside there and then uh, pull that plug and make sure that's all clean. Oh, yeah, Ryan had some of that Yamabon 6B. <laughs> you got to watch it, though. It's, it's like a... And I sees it gets on your fingers. The next thing you know, it's all over everything. So let me get this cleaned up. <laughs> I 
light's casting a very blue hue there in it. Anyway, how's that look? Does that look a lot better? So before, you know, you want to lube all these areas, I already made sure they're clean. And uh, use assembly lube and put just a, a dab of the lube in the journals and on the pads, the rocker pads. And then uh, it just it just needs to be a light amount. As soon as you fire it up, oil is going to flow through it. Then you very carefully, by hand, put that sealant on there. Do not ever squeeze the pot. Like I was saying, I've seen people put that on like they're putting on tooth toothpaste or use the little pointy tubes and run a big bead across it. Dude, it needs to be very thin. Because this thing, it will practically seal itself without the, the thing. Don't ever try that, but it will. It's that tight of a tolerance. Well, when you torque that thing down, any excess, well, you've seen what excess does. It just squirts out everywhere. So I'm about ready to uh, to seal it up and uh, put her down. I put just a very light oil on all the threads and just let them sit there for a little bit and drain off. So you're not torquing against th uh, dry threads. You'll get an improper torque. Which reminds me, I'm going to get my snap-on clicker out here and figure out what 10 millimeters is, or 10 newton meters is in inch pounds. <laughs> and uh, we'll get everything ready here and we'll go back together. So there you are. A nice even coat on all the surfaces, making sure not to get directly on the journals because that'll squeeze that oil into the journals and only put it on one side so 88.5 inch pounds is 10 newton meters 89 fine so there she is all torqued down you kind of do it in reverse on the way back you kind of go from the inside out when you're coming out you go from the outside in just look at your manual and it'll show you one, two, three, four. Just go down down the list. That light puts off a weird light, doesn't it? There she is, torqued down. And this is what you should see when you're done. It's just the very light squeeze dampness of the sealant coming out. And try to avoid running it if at all possible for uh, at least 12 hours, I think they say eight to 10, I'd wait about 12 hours just to let that um, silicone tack up. And once it's tacked up, it'll stay where it's at. There she is, she won't leak no more. Shockingly, the intake and exhaust valves are still good. I think I did the 600 mile service at around 900 or something, it's at 3375 now absolutely spot on so I, I turned the engine over quite a few times just by hand to dissipate oil and everything i put everywhere make sure that's in there and uh anyway perfect valve clearance so those nippon junko as we call them at work so i'm digging around and ryan's stuff up here so never complain about your kid leaving his junk behind so there i find a uh, a CR9E. So I'm digging around, digging around, and up underneath all that, I found another one. Oh man, need to make sure they're both new. Look at that. There's my NGK plugs. Oh, please be new. Uh oh. Yep, it's new. So I check my clearance and get those get those in there. Standard is a 10, which is a slightly cooler. Um, nine's one step warmer, but I do a lot of putting around probably more than anything else. So I'll, I'll be fine with one step hotter. It is, you know, one of the two plugs recommended. Come on, focus. So I have the hot type, standard type, ideally a 10. But the nines will do fine. The plugs were perfectly gapped right out of the box, which they usually are. 
9% of the time, if it still has the little cone thing in there, they're in good shape. The box looks like it's been dropped or that this little spacer is missing out of there. Absolutely check them, but you should check them anyway. But you can see by the color of these, uh, going one step warmer is not going to hurt anything anyway. And the uh, 31s are the equivalent of the 10 in the NGKs. So it's not going to hurt at all to go one step hotter plug. A hotter plug doesn't mean it sparks hotter. It just retains heat longer. Well, there you go. That's that for that. Everything's fine. Got my new spark plugs in. Fuel line, everything's all hooked up. I just need to take the air filter in. I got a little tub that I use to uh, clean it out with. Make my magic no-toil uh, cleaning potion there and wash it all out. It's all biodegradable. and go right down the sink into my septic system. Doesn't hurt a thing. So there we are. There's one sealed up DR. I'm not going to start it or run it or anything. I'm going to let that um, silicone Yamabon seal up. There she is. So uh, some tires and not really due for an oil change, but I'll go ahead and change the oil if I have enough. I think I got a bunch of like half quarts of motor X floating around here somewhere. I'll see if I have enough. If not, I'll just wait till another time. There's the genuine Suzuki oil filter for it. There we are. Thanks for hanging out with me on resealing the uh, rocker cover or cylinder head cover, as the Japanese refer to it. There we are. That's a good bike right there. Really good bike. All right. That'll be it for tonight. Well, hello there, YouTube. With Abby in our lap over here. Making trying to growling uh, yeah. sounds. <laughs> trying to get some affection from us over down here. Yeah. For the last couple hours, it's been nice. The crazy storm. Man, Callie took a screenshot of that thing. Was that while that was gone or? Yeah, that was earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Got really windy and rained a bit and just kind of got quiet. Knock little, on wood. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a little breezy out here, but nothing like they made it out to be. It's like it's going to be something crazy. But um, what a nice uh, first day of 2021. Yeah. Very got, nice to, day. got to see my my son and his fiance. Yes. <laughs> I got, uh, got these little charge things that doesn't, for whatever reason, it won't work with this new iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I gave it to Kyla. Ryan says she likes to sit and watch videos or something in the morning. I thought this, she'll like this because it's a little stand and it charges her phone. So. Yeah, so that'll work out good Heck for Heck yeah. yeah. That old parts washer, he'll, he'll put that thing to good use. Oh yeah. I'll probably see it next time. It'll be all cool and works real great and I'll be going... I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I want that thing. Oh, he will get way more use out of it than yeah, we ever Yeah, he's would. always yeah. got something going on. But anyway, got the DR all sealed up. Hopefully there'll be a little spot somewhere tomorrow. Take her for a quick little rip. Yeah, that'd I haven't be ridden nice. her in a while. <laughs> Poor old DR. Yeah, you got to show her some love. Yeah. But I think on that, we're going to slip on out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. Hope you guys had a awesome, awesome January 1st yeah. as well. Or 2nd. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, whatever you day are. you're sitting in at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys take care. Thank you very much now. Bye-bye. <laughs>